Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is probably the most important piece of a network of your security. And uh, it is actually the users, right? So let's, let's talk about that. Uh, a user is a firewall, probably the best one that you've got, whether it's your family, whether it's your customers, having people properly trained, understanding, um, you know, how to perform a quick sniff test on an email, a phone call, an in-person visit, uh, making sure that they're checking credentials, that they're not falling for scams, that they're not clicking things and downloading things. This is important. And the security landscape around this is constantly changing, constantly changing. So coming up with new ways to help people be aware of what could be an intrusion in, in their lives, in, you know, the people's lives around them. You, you have to be constantly evolving and training people. Really, people are the best firewall. Their boots are on the ground. They're seeing things that are coming around, spam filters that are making it through DNS filtering, that, you know, they're taking the phone calls. They're having the in-person visits. So, I mean, for me, the human impact... And, and the human training portion of network security and network design, it, it's huge. It's, it's, you know, we can spend a million dollars, a billion dollars on firewalls and software, and it takes one social engineering attack to completely undo it all. And, and you need to be empathetic with your users. You need to train them. You can't hold them accountable if they're not trained. And I know it's, it's 2023, right? Everybody knows, but not everybody knows. Some people are only using technology because they have to, right? Not everybody's like you or I are watching this video and, and this is what they do. Uh, it's up to us as leaders, as, as security folk, as designers, trainers to, to get the word out. And one of the latest things that's happening, if you haven't uh, been paying attention to the news. Caesar's Palace in Vegas, if you've never been there, I mean, these properties are the size of small towns. And there are two industries really that push the envelopes on technology and keep, you know, keep pushing and, and help push security and, and innovation. And that's, that's gambling. If you don't think that that casinos spend as much money, if not more, than banks do, to make sure their information is safe, you better you better check that out. And then there's another industry that we won't talk about right now, but you know that that, that industry um, also has to be very secure and is on the forefront of, of technology, helped us win format wars. So you can look, look that up. But yeah, check it out. So MGM actually started, you know, shutting down entire um, properties to contain the, the attack that they're under. So just go over to Google News. And uh, like I said, Caesars paid a $15 million ransom. The original request was $30 million. They paid the $15 million. But here's the thing, right? So if your family's not trained, I mean, your family photos are, are priceless. And if you don't have them backed up somewhere where they can't be touched and, you know, someone at home gets an errant email, downloads something, and encrypts your NAS, everything you've got on your network, you could be in trouble if your backups aren't set up properly. Um, I can't even imagine the amount of data, the type of data. Well, I, I can imagine the type of data, but the amount of data that a place like Caesars has um, in the MGM group. I mean, they just have massive amounts. They probably have more data than hospitals. It would just be my guess, you know, based on on activity and and dollar volume and things like that. And then to have this happen, uh, Caesars, obviously, I, I don't know what their backup plan is, but they obviously felt that paying the ransom would help get things back on track maybe quicker than, you know, a disaster recovery plan. Um, MGM, just two hours ago, MGM struggles to contain fallout for days, days long IT outages. So, uh, and likely what we're going to see, you know, unless there was some sort of crazy, uh, zero day, um, some sort of unknown exploit or heaven forbid, you know, there was a public 
you know, facing something that was out of, out of date and, and somebody came in through that. I think what we're going to see in this case when everything comes out is it was probably going to be social engineering. It was going to be uh, p- possibly um, phishing. Uh, could could have been, I mean, you know, somebody called in over the phone. I mean, but I, I think you're going to see, you know, social engineering in, in something like this. And that's why it's so important to train your users. If somebody comes in and says they're going to work on the elevator, okay, show me your credentials. Let me talk to the building supervisor and see if he's expecting you to, you know, work on the, the elevators. If somebody shows up and they look like a firefighter, all right, well, show me your official credentials if you want to get into this room, you know, where this is at. You know, you, you have to train your people. It's not um, only about, you know, making sure that they understand what the latest phishing and scam emails look like. That That's hugely important, but... You know, some of these, some of these things, uh, you know, the saying is, is if you want to get access to anywhere, you know, carry a ladder and act like you're supposed to be there, right? You can get in. So we have to train our users, you know, for multiple things, you know, phone calls that don't look right, text messages that don't look right, uh, emails, definitely, number one, phone calls in person, because if you don't think that there are people that show up and, and want to steal and want to wreak havoc in person, it happens, it happens over the phone, right? So have a plan to train your users. Make sure that you're doing cybersecurity awareness training, that you're, you know, you're doing these different types of trainings. If you need help with this, you know, reach out to us um, because uh, I do design training specifically uh, for this. It addresses cybersecurity, addresses the, the human element. Um, there are so many things to consider and you do have to be empathetic. If you go back to like 2017, I did a video called, um, I think it's called the uh, security jawbreaker is what I called, or I, th- I think my video is actually called defense in depth, but, uh, you know, the user is a very, very integral part of this whole thing. And, um, you know, launching, you know, software accidentally clicking a link that they're not supposed to, um, it, it can have real consequences. I think that's what we're going to see when this shakes out. This is, I would think, uh, pretty sophisticated. So I think you are going to see social engineering definitely involved in this. But if you've got any questions, um, I'm probably uh, reading the same information you are. So just check out Google News, check out, you know, Bleeping Computer. They'll they'll have the latest uh, updates with this going on. So uh, make sure you're training your users. If you need help with that, like I said, you can uh, reach out over at willyhow.com. There's a contact form. Fill that out. We'll help you get your training designed, help you get it um, out there. And we even have ways that we can, uh, you know, create uh, a training course. They fill out a quiz. They get a, you know, they, they click submit. They get a uh, uh, certificate that says they passed or failed. If they fail it you know, it tells them why they, they failed and all that good stuff. Then go back through the training. So, you know, reach out if you need that help. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link, and a link over to our website where you can fill out that contact form and get the ball rolling. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.